do 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 look at me walk I am so fucking awesome I am crash anyways welcome to part three of let's play crash bandicoot war so in this episode we're gonna be starting off world three by doing our first level dynamite a play on words to dynamite and I just got a text message where haven't we gotten far but a pair of fuzzy marsupials I am dr. nefarious trophy Master of time and creator of the very time twister machine you see before you. Uka Uka and Dr. Cortex have sent me to end this little charade, so you won't be leaving my area with the crystals. I swear it. Charade. I don't know why, but there's just something weird about him saying charade. Oh god, hang on. I just got to uh, turn it down on my ears. It's actually not up as loud as I thought it was. It's actually turned up quite far. It's just, with the headset on, it's really loud. Now we also have the ability to double jump, which will allow us to get to high up things. There's 112 bots here. Oh, apparently you can't spin into them while they're spinning. Shoulda figured that one, eh? Boom! Crash Bandicoot Seal wannabes. Boing. Yep. Yeah, it's been days since I recorded. I'm starting work soon, so I have to find more and more time to record, so record whenever I can. And no, we cannot get the other gem until we get the uh, gold gem, or yellow gem. I think it's supposed to be yellow, not gold. It just looks gold. Wait, what? Um, that thing just ate me. I felt like the game froze for... What the hell? Oh yeah, okay, I have a feeling this thing's gonna be a piss off. Man, that's what I get for not playing video games for days other than Call of Duty. Oh, hey guys, guess what? We get introduced to a new buddy. Welcome to the Crash Bandicoot Yoshi. And all he does is jump. He can't double jump. He just jumps high. Other, other than that, he's literally just Crash without the spin ability. Actually, at this point in the game, he pretty much is. Nothing special there. Lots of lava, though. We're never gonna have to run away from any uh, Triceratops in this uh, level. I really don't know. But we will soon find out. Oh, is that part is? He can't go on the ground. He can only go through the watery parts of the level. So sad, because he's such a cool little buddy. I think there's like maybe one other level with him in the entire game, and other than that, we'll never see him again. And getting to see him again is hard, too, because he's not a really easy-to-find character. You know, due to the fact that he's in a very secret location. I got a text message again. My girlfriend just wants to order his pizza. Okay. So for these, we need to use a Super Body Slam. I think I mentioned that in the last episode. Remind me, like... Forgive me if I don't really remember what happened last episode because I just uploaded it like a minute before I started recording and I haven't actually recorded in like over a week. Like, there was like literally a four day pause where I didn't upload and I apologize because that will not happen again anymore. And yeah, so it's telling us how to use the body slam. Just get close, hug the edge, and you should be able to get all of them. And that's everything. So yeah, I have a feeling... Excuse me. Yeah, there's the dinosaur chase scene. I'm like, I have a feeling we're gonna have to deal with the dinosaur chase. It is called Dynamite, but then again, that could just be named after like the little dinosaur that we were with earlier. And I use these currents to get a speed boost because these levels would be a lot easier to come back and get 100% on if you had like the running shoes. But how much you can do about it without them? And then just try and beat them naturally. I'll try and remember where the pterodactyl that carries this off is. I'll probably do that in like a... God, fucking damn it. Probably do that in an extra video, like... Or, not extra video. I don't think there will be a bonus video to this series. I think the series will literally just be from start to finish. Like part 1 through part 30, depending on when it ends. I'm just saying. It'll be like that, you know? I'm not gonna have like a bonus part where I do like bonus levels, cause no. For 100% on this game. Oh come on! I moved! Like Crash doesn't gain enough momentum. Luckily we have a lot of lives for World 3. 
fact that we did some weird ass. Can you crush that for me? Thank you. Yeah, if we just do this a few times. Oh god damn it. Luckily. Luckily, oh god. Oh no. No, we can't get 100% here. Shit, it's another level where we can't finish it off completely. I hate when that happens. So we'll have to backtrack here once we get the gold gem. And to get the gold gem, we need 10 relics, I believe. So we need to be 10 levels really fast. Oh, we got our first crystal for this world, though. Now we got to deep treble, and I believe we can actually get the red gem here. So kudos to us. So let's see, hopefully you guys don't hear the neighbors in the background. Just out in the hallway right now, but... Yeah, my girlfriend's ordering the pizza for when she gets off work, or while well, planning it. Anyways, how many boxes have we got here? 83. I believe this level is a little different in the sense that you have to backtrack a bit. So it can be a little bit tedious, but otherwise it's not a bad level, at least I don't remember it being. I don't think any of the water levels in this game are bad. They got really, really bad in Wrath of Cortex. No, Wrath of Cortex had a lot of flaws to it. Like, it was a good game, it is enjoyable, but there's a lot of bullshit parts. Like, one of the water levels has, like, no checkpoints for, like, ten minutes of the level, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, checkpoint, 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 and then another spot where there's, like, no checkpoints, and you're like, well, what the hell kind of design is this? Oh yeah, by the way, these whirlpools can and will kill you, so just be careful. You know, if Crash couldn't die by everything already, now he has to die by whirlpools. Now you guys will see where we have to backtrack eventually. Oh, we got another one of these spots, but I believe this time we have enemies in here. Am I right? Yeah, there's enemies in here. Boink. And we're at 29 boxes. So not too shabby. Yeah, I will be continuing Sly and everything later on, guys. I do apologize if you guys think that... I've forgotten certain Let's Plays, like Yu-Gi-Oh! and shenanigans like that. No, 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 I have not forgotten stuff like that, guys. And I do apologize if you guys honestly think that. No, I just, I have to do certain projects at a time just because of my resources. So yeah, this is where we'll need to backtrack, so make sure you kill every enemy along the way here. So, there's a eel. Got the electrical. I have no clue what this thing is supposed to be, or like even what it does. Like you know, I know it electrocutes you, but I mean like, what would it do in the real world? And who swims through the, these pipe things in the real world anyway? Actually, a good idea is not to get that checkpoint. Honestly speaking, that way you can go back, you know, and finish everything. Okay, what are we at? 43. We're not doing too bad. At least I don't think we are. Just don't want to miss anything or screw anything up, you know? God damn it. Is that going to screw things up? Because if it is, I'm going to have to. Uh... God damn it. Well, either way, we some, for some reason went up and hit the goddamn puffer fish. Does this thing get like a speed boost by chance? Oh! Okay, if you press R1, you do get a speed boost. I'm like, I always thought this thing had a speed boost feature. At least back when I was a kid, it did. I always make myself seem like an idiot when I say, oh no, it doesn't have that anymore. I always think it doesn't have it anymore, then in reality it does. Oh yeah, I'm hitting Nitro, that's what I'm hitting. Oh no! Oh. Woo! That was, uh... God fucking damn it again, man. Oh. Okay. Luckily, we don't need it anymore. And poo nuggets. God fucking damn it, man. Like, it's just so bad because I keep. I don't know. My controller, I think it's because since I'm using a wireless controller. Now I have to die. God fucking Since I'm using a wireless PS3 controller, I don't think it registers. Like, since I'm sitting 
kind of down below the console, it doesn't register as well as it should. So it's a little delayed. Otherwise, we're down to 42 lives. We're running low. We need more lives. Or like a lot of people say to gamers, you need to get a life. Can you not go in there? For some reason my boost didn't work. I don't know why it sometimes doesn't work. And I hate how hitting a Wumpa Fruit watch, or never mind, it blew up. Hitting a Wumpa Fruit will actually cause you to blow up the Wumpa Fruit. Can you stop? Why does he keep turning around so frequently? No! God damn, Crash. Why did you go in there? For some reason, my boost was very delayed. Oh well, I'll come back to it later. Anyways, let's do high time first, and this is a purple gem. I believe this gem is a... So, you pesky little rats aren't going to back off, eh? Just to continue to gather crystals and see what I do. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that this is a Skull and Crossbones platform, which requires us to not die after the first checkpoint. We can die before the first checkpoint, obviously, because we restart the, the level, but you're not allowed to die after the first checkpoint. I really gotta investigate this controller, though. Like, I don't know if it's just because Crash Bandicoot's a floaty game, because sometimes that is the case, but... It does seem a little, eh, 85 boxes. But yeah, I will go back to that water level. Just want to not... Like, overwhelm you guys with a water level all in one episode if, you know, we didn't beat it. Okay, now we can't die after that spot. Okay. I don't think the uh, upgraded spin would be a good idea for this level, but we don't have it yet, so... We have to make do with what we have. There, we're getting some of our lives back. And if you want to get off here, you just push X. The jump button is also the dismount button. Ooh. Hmm. Bonus platform. Yay. Let's go. And there's also the crystal over there. Look at the bonus music starts before you even get into it. Ugh. I don't mind this level. This level is a... I don't know. It's very colorful, that's for sure. I just like the blue and like the lights. and just, It has like a Wario Land 4 vibe to me. And I really like Wario Land 4. This seems like a really easy bonus. Is it gonna... No. Can I, like, destroy those? Oh, I can, too. I don't actually have to jump on them. That's gonna be nice. Having double jump is such a lifesaver and time saver in this game. Like, holy Toledo, man. Holy Toledo, Batman. You're a lifesaver. Oh, me and my girlfriend went to see Lego Batman when it came out, which was yesterday. And that was amazing. That that movie was absolutely hilarious. And there's the death platform. Now careful not to die before you get there. I don't know if we have to backtrack again, but let's grab Aku Aku and go. Now you can die on here. As long as you don't die getting to the platform, you'll be fine. Oh, it uses the bonus music. Oh wait, no it doesn't. Actually, it has its own uh, rendition of it like, up the music. And I believe this isn't actually that difficult. I remember doing this when I was originally recording it for you guys, and it wasn't that bad. Just, I rushed it a little bit here and there. Oh, and I just killed one of those, uh, genie guys, or genies, wizards, flying carpet men. What do you call a guy who flies on a magic carpet? Is that, like, the wizarding world of Arabia, or, like, wizards just ride, um... Magic carpets. I have a feeling we're gonna have to do this level twice because it doesn't seem like there's any boxes in this part of the level. Wait, what the hell? Oh, God damn it, man. Man, this level's gonna have a lot of backtracking. I don't think we're gonna get this world done in this episode. At least if I don't want it to be like 30 minutes, which I don't, so. We still gotta backtrack to the water level, and this level I'm gonna have to backtrack to in this episode. So we might be able to get one more level done after this, depending on 
what the next level is. Like, if it's a Coco level of some sort, then maybe. If it's a racing level, maybe. Yeah, see, there was this enemy here last time. Or, not last time. Fuck's sakes, man. I apologize, but not killing him with the monkey guy here it just really makes things more difficult. So let's go back on here and check my phone to see if I got a text message. I don't, so we don't have to worry about anything. My computer mouse is, like, literally spazzing out, so I have to use the mouse pad on my computer, and I hope that doesn't go anytime soon. Because a while ago it was, and then it started working fine again. Kind of like how my webcam never worked on my computer, but then all of a sudden sometimes works for when I use Bandicam. God freaking damn it, man. There we go. Just do a nice high jump and you should be fine. Get out of here, scorpions. Okay. All that we gotta worry about is not falling in that one spot that we did last time. Like, I can't believe I managed that somehow. I'm not gonna do it again, am I? Oh my god, I almost did it again. Yeah, see, we're gonna have to backtrack here again. So with that, we got the purple gem out of the way, or the amethyst, if you guys want to give out specific gem names. So here we go. Boom. Oh, we also got the... We technically beat the level, we just didn't get the silver gem. So what do we have after this? We have a race level, so yeah, road crash. Anyways, let's go back to high time and finish it off. For all your 420 blazits. Crash, Coco. Oh. If you have already retrieved a level's crystal, then you will find a floating clock when you enter for the second time. This floating clock activates time trial mode. Grab it, and the clock will start ticking. Race for the end to get the best time. But beware, some elements will change. <laughs> Pretty much the fact that boxes uh, no longer give you Wumpa Fruit, and some of them give you uh, Aku Aku or time like delay boosts. <sighs> My biggest issue with doing this again, you gotta redo like the bonus and everything. I don't know why I attempted to do the bonus. Because sometimes you can actually get 100% on a level depending on like what type of color gem it is. And, okay, for some reason my analog stick wasn't working. Yeah, I think I really gotta save up money here once we start working and get ourselves a uh, better PS3 controller. Because yes, like I said, I do not play this on emulator, I do not play this on anything, so if you guys complain about the uh, quality of the game, this is HD. This is 1980... 1980? 1920-1080p. I can't record 4000 because, you know, this is not a PS4, but... Uh, you know, I like how this climbing part is technically more dangerous than the uh, beginning part, or like the uh, death platform area, you know? Like, I believe in... what the hell? I believe in Wrath of Cortex, the death platform zones are actually a lot more difficult than the, than the actual basic level, so you gotta be on the lookout for that, but... I will eventually play the game, I still gotta play Crash 1, 2, and then the two Game Boy games and spin-offs before I get to that game. But, I will eventually play it for you guys at some point down the road. Body slam! Slam tastic! Give me that one up, bitches! Gotta love that, it just looks so cool. Hug! Yes, it actually destroyed them all that time. I didn't actually have to jump over to the other side. And there. Yeah, the death platform zone didn't have any... Or I guess we can just call it the death path. The death path didn't have any boxes at all. Not even nitro. A lot of the time they have nitro. Death platforms have actually been out since Crash 2. Now, do not take it. And please don't fall on it or anything stupid like that. I could just see me falling on the platform. They're like, oh no, I'm gonna die again over a stupid mistake. Ah. I don't really need to kill you, monkey man. Alright, you'll destroy those, right? 
Yep, all three are destroyed. Oh, hey! You kind of remind me of something that I'd see in Prince of Persia. Throwing your blades at me and... Oh, I'm assuming that's a jump. Sweet! This guy is actually fairly easy to avoid. Just jump when you hear a sword coming and... Stupid me spun into a TNT. Kind of wanted Aku Aku for when I go back to the water level in the next episode. But I don't think that's going to be any... I walked into a delayed explosion. This is what happens to me when I stop playing video games. I need to play video games, otherwise... I suck at them completely. Okay, can you actually... Can you... Uh, I don't want to jump off the ledge. Thank you. Just destroy the guy darn TNT. Uh, the thing actually has a longer and bigger blast radius than I actually remember it having. It might actually kill this guy in the end. No, but it didn't kill the monkey man. Never mind, it killed the monkey man! Like only, oh, it didn't kill the monkey man. No, it killed the monkey man. Oh, that's the ending. I'm assuming this will lead to the ending. Did you see that he grabbed on, but since it was the ledge, he's like... Or the edge, he's like, oh no, I can't stay on. And there's the basic silver gem. So that is 100% on that level as of now. We still need to get the relic, but we won't worry about that at this given point in time, because... No, we don't have the running shoes, like I've said in the last two episodes. And there we go. So the next level, we'll finish off uh, Road Crash and Doubleheader. So see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, homes.